Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10 Beta 4. This is available to developers, and probably the public beta will be out in a day or two, or maybe already is by the time you're watching this. So if you go to download it, it was about 456.5 megabytes, at least for the iPhone 6S Plus, that's the size of it. And let's take a look at the version number. You can see the version is 14A5322E, and this particular version adds quite a few little different tweaks and changes. Actually, there's about a page full of bug fixes, and then on top of that, there's about nine more pages of known issues. So there's still some issues to fix, and they still have until September to actually finalize this. Now, one thing that they added a lot of people will appreciate are emoji. So let me see if I can show you that here. In here, they've added, right now they haven't added all of them, but they've added quite a few for diversity, uh, a water gun to basically fix the issue with people having an issue with there being a gun. There's also female athletes and there will be a whole lot of other different changes. So if you tap and hold, you'll have all sorts of options and there will be a bunch more. This is just basically to uphold the standard that they've been applying to all along Unicode and those will be there when the update comes out. They've also changed the keyboard sound. So if I go here, and I don't know if you can hear this, but if I type really fast, you'll hear that the sounds change based on not just what letter I press, but different actual buttons I press. So let me see if you can hear this. So I'm not sure if you could hear that, but they've changed those buttons as well. And that should make really not much difference because that changes all of the time. Actually, every beta, they've changed the different sounds to the old ones, then to the new ones. So I'm not sure what they're going to keep at this point. One of the other things they changed has to do with Control Center. When you now open it for the first time, it gives you this message. So it says iPhone controls now playing in home, each have their own cards, swipe to see each one. And then you would swipe to the right and see more. And you can see that here. And it's just basically telling you how it works as compared to before. Also, before you used to have haptic feedback, so when you'd shut the phone off, it actually vibrate a little bit. They've removed that from this beta, and that's actually a good thing. Hopefully they'll make it so you can turn it on or off. It was really pretty annoying, I thought. They've also updated some of the wallpapers, sort of. Not really anything new, but they've actually brought back some old wallpaper from iOS 8. And it takes a while because I have so many photos here, but if I go to stills, you'll see that there's the new one, iOS 9 and then some old ones from iOS 8. So we're not really sure what the brand new ones will look like, but nothing new just yet. They've also sped up folder animation. So if we go to different folders, you'll see that things respond a little bit more quickly. And apps seem to open a little bit more quickly also. They pop in very quickly and then pop away very quickly. So that animation has been sped up and it basically gives the feel of the OS a much faster speed overall. Now they've also updated widgets over here with I guess the date and time, although I don't see that return. Some people have been seeing that, I don't really see it. Uh, the other things they've updated have to do with the health book placeholders for videos. So if I go over to health book, you'll see we have these different mindfulness or uh, different apps within the app sleep, but you can't play these videos yet. There's nothing there. So they're just placeholders. And that continues to be the case for pretty much the entire OS. There's placeholders here and there. And overall, everything just feels really fast. And they haven't made many other changes, but they did release the updated betas for the watch and also Mac OS Sierra and Apple TV. And they also came out with a new Apple TV remote. You can see it's black here. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. If I go into it, here's my Apple TV and this is just the touch device. So it's much more like the actual remote that you would hold it like this and then just control it. Not a whole lot different, but it is a little bit different in the way that it looks. And once it's connected and you have all of your apps, it's a little bit nicer to navigate around. So those are the changes so far in iOS 10 beta four. I haven't found anything else, but if you've found anything, let me know in the comments below. For those of you that want the wallpaper, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And if you wanna keep seeing those, let me know also in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.